trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the daily silver chart. This is the one that we put into the newsletter. And as you can see here, we've been looking for the market to come lower. The reason why is we made this big pattern up here at 1.618 at 3242. And since that time, you can see we've had nothing but lower tops. Okay, and this is what we were looking for today. Now, each day when I do the videos, I try to focus on one that really tries to outline just about everything that we look for. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch this over and put this on the hourly chart, and we're going to be able to take a look at it. So here's what we were looking for today. We were looking for a three-drive pattern. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. The number was, you can see here, this was coming in at 3006. This was 3009. The high was 3012. You can see the ABCD pattern here measured to 3008, and that's where we were looking to do it. We had several numbers up there to tell us that was okay. And as you can see, the trading gods were with us on this because the market has broken down quite a bit. It's actually dropped a little more than um, 45 cents, which is a substantial amount, but we don't know where it's going to go from here, that's for sure. But that's what we were watching here today in the silver. Very, very important from a standpoint of a trading opportunity. And that's basically what we were looking for, folks. The one that you want to really remember, getting back to this weekly chart, is this one right here on the silver. Uh, excuse me, that was a daily we were looking at. Get it up here. There it is right there. That's at uh, 20, roughly 26.75, down two bucks from where we are right now. That's going to be a very, very important number. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at it on a longer time frame. Okay, we're going to go all the way back to here. And we're going to see all this stuff in here is patterns that have happened. So since that's history, we're just going to take it out of the mystery, get rid of all that, and we're going to look at it from where we are right here at the low. So what we're looking for is a number that validates down here at 2675. That's the number we want to look for. How do we look for that? The first thing we want to do is to look for the 382 off of this big move. Okay? And you put it in right there. and we said 2675, and there's 2684, folks. So write that one down. That could be a really interesting to look at. The question is, is why did I pick this high, and why did I pick this low? Well, this is the big move. Now, if we looked at this through here, let's say we didn't know what happened here. Okay, we didn't know what was going to happen there. So we know that this market's still on the way up, correct? And look at these. We've had little corrections in here. So if we have a correction here, you want to ask yourself, what did it do off the last major correction? So if you go, I haven't done this before, folks. I'm just doing this right now. And there it is right there. There's your exact number. There's your ABCD to the upside. And that's what we were looking at today. Well, that's just one number. If you remember yesterday, I was really, really bearish about the crude oil because the doggone thing looked like it wanted to come all the way down. And hold on one second here. I've got to get this out of the way here. Hold on one second to... Do this, and we'll get it right here. There's where we are right now. Look at the 382. This is where we sold it, right here. We got stopped out right there. And then uh, I said in the in the, in the the um, video, I said, watch for a 382 retracement on this move. And look what it did. Went up $700, okay? Went up to a 50% retracement and came down and hit the exact same number again. So that's telling you this is a really important number for two reasons. If we go below it, that tells you that this is getting ready to go down a lot more. These numbers are known by a lot of people that trade these algorithm stuff, folks. So you've got to pay, you know, really, really close, uh, really close attention to it. I think we're almost to our price here. 
Ah, I think we just hit it in the old NASDAQ arena. Hold on, we're almost there. Here we go again, just like the silver. We're going to see if this has got anything. I hear the bells and whistles coming in. What we're going to do now and have a little fun, since we do that here now and then, we're going to blow this up so everybody can see it. There's the number we're looking for. That's 2077. The high today so far has been 2071. So we're looking at 2077. I'll put the little beeper on there just to see what happens there and uh, whether it's going to be a uh, big move or whatever it's going to be. But anyway, this is what you look for. These numbers, when you see this 1.618, that's basically telling you when you're looking at that Fibonacci spiral that goes around and around and around like that, that's the end of that spiral right there, folks. They're right there. I've I, there's several of them over here. The fact is, I don't think I've ever shown you folks this. Hold on one second. I've got sets of these things that are really quite beautiful. I collect them. Get it up here. Take a look at it. Oh, boy, does it weigh a lot. This is about 60 million years old, folks. This is the classic ammonite. There it is right there. There's the other side of it right there. This one was about, uh, well, this is a quite old one, but 60 million years. I've had it a long, long time. But that's what we're looking at. And there... There's the 1.618 right in there. All that spiral leads to that. That's why they break it off right here. I don't know if that's the case or not. There's the spiral from the other side. Okay, you can see that's this one, and this is when it, they cut it, and that's it. These come from Madagascar, and uh, uh, we have a big jewelry show and gem show here every year, and we just hit the number of 2175 just now, and that's it. That's the number. We're, we're looking 2177. I had an order 2175. So we'll see if that means anything. Uh, 217675 is the exact number right now. So we're going to be paying close attention to that as we as we look at that here. That means that the S&P is probably jumping up a little bit. I'm sure it is. And so there's what you're seeing here in the S&P. Uh, this morning we hit the 382 on this, and then it backed off. And then here's where we are. And look at this. Looking at this, this. Now, if that's the case, this should be 382. Let's just double check. There's your low. There's your high. Nope, it didn't do it, but it's on its way up here. So we're watching this NASDAQ. I'm, I'm leaving it in just to see what's happening because we've hit uh, 2181 right now has been the high. And that's what we're, we're watching here. 2077, 2075 is where I thought it was going to get to. So we'll, we'll see if that's going to be the case or not. But that's... Uh, one that's lining up uh, to see if uh, that's going to be the uh, to be the big case or not. We'll have to pay uh, very very close attention to that as we as we look at it right here. Um, let me um, hold. Did it stop on its own or what happened here? Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, well, I got the beeper. Let me make sure we don't get out of out of whack here a little bit. But that's a pretty interesting one. Let's just see how close. It came to the exact A, B, C, D here. I just did it on the little thing. Oh, it didn't make it at all. So there's the A, B, C, D right here. Should go a little bit higher, it looks like, by, uh, woo. Got to be careful here. But this is, you know, this is, remember what, what Einstein said. Um, not Einstein. Yeah, Albert Einstein. Mathematics precedes geometry. There's a number, 2177. So that's it. This is geometry. This is mathematics. Stay with us, boys and girls. Stay with us. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to review. This is an hourly chart on the gold. We want to review this uh, because we were looking to be a seller here at 2352 uh, today in the uh, gold. Now, you'll notice uh, we were looking for the market to make a three drive, drive one, drive two, drive three, just like we saw in silver. But gold did not do it. Gold was weak. Uh, Shuck, just a minute. I've got to redo that because it didn't, it didn't latch on to the right. I'll put it over here so we can see it. There's drive one. Drive two, we expected drive three to be right up here. You see, but it went lower, okay, and so it, did, it didn't make it. Now, we did make it with silver. Silver was perfect. It made the exact 618, and it did it with a three drive pattern, just like we just had in the uh, NASDAQ just now. But look at look what happened to gold. There's our beautiful 135 pattern, folks, just as beautiful as can be. There's your, there's your downtrend line right there. How can you draw it any better? Each one of these is just about 786, just a tiny bit more, and it goes right up there equal, as you can see, right out of Andrew Lowe's book, where you can see all the equal swings. You want to see the harmonic number active in the gold market. There's one right there. There's two right there. There's three right here. So that's that's what you're paying attention to. And then the market you know, started to come down. We had a little bit of a rally in here to about the 44% uh, level, and now it started to uh, move to the downside. So that's that's all I'm bringing to your attention is sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But your job as a as a pattern recognition swing trader is to go through these and try to find the ones that look the nicest. That's really what your job is. So if you took over this, remember we were trying to find the bottom down here in the gold. There was our high back here on the 21st. That was the equinox. We came down and we expected the market to get down here to 2300 well it only got to 2304 it missed it by four bucks then the market had a pretty good rally up in here you can see this small abcd pattern now this is all part of how you learn to trade gold but there's your abcd pattern right there all right now what do you think this is going to be off of this low right here let's just check and see if the old 382 number comes in right where it's supposed to be and it didn't quite do that we never, uh, it never made a 382 at all. It went just to below the 50% each time. The last time was uh, the today, and then we had the rally up, and that was pretty much. This was a pretty good buy right here, actually. 
if you were, um, you know, uh, on your toes to catch it, which I wasn't. I was so interested in selling silver, I didn't even pay attention to this. But that doesn't quite make the ABCD here at uh, 23, 24. It only got to 23, uh, 27, and that's what's that's what's happening with it uh, right now. Okay, now we're going to take a quick look here at the Nasdaq because uh, it is. Um, has a high has had a higher now when you do this folks when you trade the Nasdaq you have to risk 30 points that's six hundred dollars I mean that's that's equivalent of using 12 points in the s p and believe me 30 points sometimes is not enough but you know, as you can see here the ABCD measures up to this level right here at 2020 well I'm not going to risk 2020 I sold it at 20 20 20175 and I risk at 30 points on that so my stop is at 20 thousand. Uh, 207 is uh, 205. That's where my that's where my stop is going to be on that. Looking at this smaller pattern that we that we're looking at in here, okay. And that, I just wanted to bring that to your attention because you know you have to have a stop in. Otherwise, if you don't have a stop, uh, they're going to get you to stop trading eventually because what'll happen is you're going to run out of money. Yes, that's what's going to happen here. All right, now let's take a look here uh, at the corn because. Um, it hasn't done much yet, but boy, it's certainly trying to hold down in here. Here's where we were. There was the big report. Just show you how ABCs work. There was the big report on Friday. This is when they showed you what the acreage was, right? Looked pretty good, except the next report that came out showed what the total supply of corn was on hand. And that's when this market dropped um, 35 cents to get all the way down to this level. Uh, right here, and then of course it had this move right here. And again, as you can see, this must be an A, this must be a B, this must be a C. And what do you think that is? Right at the 50%. Let's just double check and see what it is. You go from your high down to your low, and you come up to here, and it's right at the 50% level at 4264 in the high today. Four, two, six, four and a half, right on the money. Folks, please do not share these numbers with anybody, okay? It's too, you know, it's just, uh, it's really good stuff. Keep it for yourself. And I say that with tongue in cheek because it doesn't make any difference because people don't do the work. And not only that, but their expectations are that these things work all the time. And my God, boys and girls, the one thing we know for sure they don't work all the time. And this might be one of those times in the NASDAQ, but this is the exact, the exact, uh, there's, look at that, there's your 426, 426 and a half, 50% right on the money. Well, what I'm watching now in the corn, this terrible report. Now we've been in now two, two trading days. First and, well, the 30th, you got to count that was Sunday. So we've had three trading days and I'm going to see if it's going to hold. See the last correction that we had here in the corn came down to this level right here. Okay, now that's down at 418. So I want to check what 418 is going to be. And I'll move this over. I'll see 418 is going to be right down near this. There it is right there. It's your 61% retracement. So at that point, I might be able to be a farmer, but I don't have to risk 10 cents anymore. I only have to risk about four or five cents because this is a pretty big move. I'm getting below here, I don't know where it's going to go. So my stop will only be about four or five cents. See, between 417 and 415, it's $100. Where can you trade corn for $100? Not very many places. You know, that's uh, that's the main thing that we're so we're watching here, okay? All right, now let's move over here and take a look at the soybeans because soybeans have held up relatively well. And uh, we're going to bring this over here. And here's our soybeans where we were the other day. This was our original bigger target, if you remember. But <laughs> this came in. You had this first and then this last. So that really doesn't that doesn't count because it, it went down and had a higher high. So not really very much happened. But here's what's happened. We did make this low uh, right down in here. Went below $10, uh, $11. We got to uh, 10.97 and three quarters. And then the market rallied um, 25 cents today. We got up to this level right here, which is the same as we were, just like in corn, same as we had an, an area to look at in corn where the re report came out. But the report was actually not too bad for soybeans. The fact that uh, soybeans held up 
the way they did was not surprising because uh, nearby soybeans, the ones that are being used right now, held up extremely well. November are the beans that are still in the ground. They don't know how many of those green beans are going to come out. So we don't know that answer. So, so far, all beans have done today is looks like made about a 50% retracement uh, right on the money. Folks, these algorithmic traders that are out there playing these games, they flat know, you know, what these things are. So you want to pay, uh, you know, play close attention to it. All right. Now, I want to switch gears here, but we have to take a little break and pay some uh, bills here for TFNM. But we have 35 seconds left. Remember, uh, half a day on uh, Wednesday, okay, and a half a day on Friday. Friday, Shane Spullion will be my guest. So we're going to take a look at wheat when you come back. So get your ticket stubs ready. The waitress will be coming around to click the ticket in just a moment. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made it so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay. 
Okay, hopeful. No, someone asked a question while we were on a break here about this ammonite. I'm going to show it to you again. There's the when it's cut in half. I have its its twin brother is over there. I have little um, stands that they set on, but these have been polished as you can see, and it just shows the ratio as you can see where they've been where they where they've been cut, and that's pretty much it. And there's the spiral and the other thing. This one weighs 10 pounds. I've got some here that weigh 100 pounds, but uh, this is one of the 10 pound one. And uh, anyway, I got a collection of these things that I've collected over the years. A lot of them were given to me as gifts from people to come to visit and said, wow, I got to do something like this. Let's take a look at the wheat, folks. Here's wheat over the last um, month or so. There was a high we made back in here. All I want to do now, and I haven't done this yet since we can we can do it together. I want to see uh, if this was a 382 off of this high. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark it right here. And you'll see it went a little above the 382 right in here. But this was the reason why I did it is because you had the ABCD. And here's where, you know, uh, geometry uh, was a little bit better than uh, the, the mathematics of it. But that's that's pretty much what happened. There's your ABCD pattern finishing up right here. So let's look at wheat right now because I think this is the one you want to buy the strongest. Remember the soybean oil? The thing's going to the moon. Well, it's up $2,000 from where the report came out on last Friday. I'll show you soybean oil in just a minute. So here's the wheat. You can see here, this is the high we made uh, yesterday. There was your, your A, B, C, D pattern right there, okay? And then you made a lower high today, okay? And then another little bit lower high. You can see a small A, B, C, D pattern right here. And then we're starting to move down. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we have the right low back here, which would be right there. And then we wanna find a pattern that'll line up with one of these things. And look where we're setting right now, folks. We're setting right at the 382, okay? This is September. September wheat is what this is. But look at this. This has got, um, this is the upside down version of that NASDAQ trade. Maybe none of them are gonna work, but that's what we're looking at. There's your A, B, C, D pattern right there. I'm gonna draw it in. Let's get this out of the way here. And there's your low right back here, your 382 is coming in right there. I'm gonna just do it off of this high because if I did it, it's gonna be squirrely and I wanted to make sure I get it the right way. And there's your ABCD move right here. That comes in at uh, 578. There it is, AB equals CD. And that's, uh, I would be, I would have no fear buying it there. Risking uh, this 579, put your stop below here, which would be 574, risking 250. It's taken um, yesterday and today to get down to this level, but it's three things you got going for you. You got the 3A2, you got the ABCD, and then you also have a place to put your stop, which is right below the 50% level. So that's the main reason. Speaking of that, let's check and see if I'm still alive in the NASDAQ. Yep, not by much, but it's got a, still hasn't done much. See, it hasn't, uh, it's not making any money, that's for sure. But it hasn't been any higher than 88, and I sold it at, uh, 75 so it's not even close to the stop but this says a uh, because we're above the 1.618 right now folks uh, my guess is we're probably going to get up to this level right here now that's the, that's my stop is right above here because i'm risking 30 cent, 60 excuse me 30 cents 600 dollars so my stop is at 2207 cuz i sold it at 2177 so that's what i'm looking at right here with that, okay? These are the kind of things that we do when we do our day trading thing that we'll do on, uh, we're gonna do one on Friday, the uh, 12th of July, and then we have another one on the 26th of July, and um, that'll be our schedule for that. We've had uh, nine of them. We've had money, one money, we've made money on every single one except one. We made um, some pretty good money, $700 on the two trades that we did last Friday. And so we're hoping to see we'll continue our thing. I, I did all ABCDs on Friday, folks. No 382s. It was ABCDs. And ABCDs, where your money is, and that's what you want to really, really try to uh, hold it together to see if it's going to hold up or not. Okay. Oh, one other thing I wanted to check with the wheat here. I hadn't checked the AI program today to see if it's got anything going for it. So I'll put the two-minute up, and we'll see how it's been acting. Oh, Look at that. That's been acting pretty good. There was a projected high, and there is your projected low. So remember, after the first, the, this is really good, folks, for the first three quarters of the day. But the last part of the day, this part right here, is difficult because you've gone through 
222 two minute bars over that time period. So that tells you, but there's your ABCD counter trend right there. If you're looking for a nice little counter trend trade, there it is right there, AB equals CD, and it'll set right in there. And that's what you're watching here as we're looking at this here right now. So hold on here. We wanna take a look at the uh, soybean oil, the December soybean oil, which has uh, always been my favorite, been very good to me. <clears throat> Over the years, excuse me, folks, we've got a little bit of a Halliburti attack. There's where we are, folks. This is where we were. We made new lows down in here. This was the this was the report day right here. The market didn't even budge. It was closed higher on that report. Even with soybeans down 20 some cents, the meal was down a lot, but oil wasn't. And remember from the uh, work of um, um, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, which is about Jesse Livermore. Buy the strongest, sell the weakest. This was an example of buying the strongest. You see the last move we had, completed that, and this is what we just did today. Went a little bit higher than that right now. You get a chance to buy this, get ready to buy it, because this is the beginning of something pretty good, folks. Uh, and I don't think it's going to run away from this level, but there will be a correction somewhere in here, and you want to be watching it closely. So far, you know, there's been no correction at all. It's just been boom and that's it. You know, nothing, not even, a, uh, there wasn't even a three, oh, maybe this might have been a 382, but I doubt it. Let's just, just double check it here just to see if it had anything. There's your low, there's the report uh, day came in right there. There was your report day and you can see we closed higher that day and we've been going up ever since. There's hardly any correction in here. You know, that's really it. You had one Small AB, well, not small because it was a pretty good size one. ABCD pattern right here. Okay, and then uh, that probably stopped it right in here, and then boom, and then away it went. And here's where we are, you know, right now as we're looking at it, <clears throat> you know, here today. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that as we're looking at this, and then we'll move on to the next one. I want to get rid of the wheat here and get it out of the way. And December oil, I don't need to see that anymore. And uh, where are we at here? Okay. Uh, well, the bell just rang in the NASDAQ. Hold on just a second, folks. I heard the beeper go off. Whenever it makes it, what I, what I did on the NASDAQ here, um, let me get this out of the way here. Hold on just a minute. All right. Stay with me, folks. I got to get the windows straight, tile vertical. I probably left, lost one in here. Where are we at here? Here it is. We'll be right back and I'll explain to you what I just did. You can see it's trading down in here right now, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, 
gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, when we were on the air here, I heard the beeper go off. You see this, my alert right here that told me that we took out this low right here. Uh, this is not what I wanted to see happen because I expected that would have been the low and then it started to back off. What we did is we went up and we made a new high here at 2092. Now at that point, I was out $300. Right now I'm out $200. My stop is above here. That's, uh, that's a $600 stop because this is one wild puppy. It really is. Just to show you why, let's just go back and this is how I handle risk, folks. I, I, you know, it's what Mark and I worked on for so many years. I look at this last swing. This was, uh, you know, basically a 40-minute move down. So if I put that right in here and I max it up, there's my 1.618 number. You see that? So that you can trade against that all day long, and sometimes you lose. But anyway, you see the market comes down and, and then makes a, a lower low here, right at the 61% retracement. That leads to this ABCD that we're looking at here at 20,201. Okay, my stop is 20,205 because I sold it at 75, all right? I sold it right there. My stop's right above there so I can control the risk just like I could have done here. I control the risk, but on this one, don't forget this thing gave me 45 handles. So it gave me $800, almost $900, and I'm only, and I'm only risking you know, three hundred dollars. So that's or at that point I was risking six, but you made more money than you were risking, so you certainly had some profit here. And that was a logical place to look at it because that was a six one eight. I didn't check to see if it was a three eight two of anything. Let's just look and see from the low we had earlier in the morning. Let's just make sure we have the right low, and there it is. Let's just see if no. Oh, let's just double check just to see if it's right here to see if that was a three eight two. Mark it up. Oh boy. Look at that. Yeah, that, that is. There it is right there within one point of something that's trading at 20,062. The low was 20,065 or $60 from the exact number. But getting back to that trade that I'm in, and uh, but that's what I'm looking at right here. If we get above this, I guess that was a 30 minute. Boy, I thought that was 30. Oh dear, maybe I got the wrong one in here. There it is. You know, there's the bigger one right here. Now, oh my gosh, that's right at the 7862. Shut the front door. I like this trade. Might lose in it, but boy, that's right at the 78% level of the high. Back here on the 28th, that's where we're setting right here. So here's where we are. This is what I was looking at here this morning. There was the, there was the 382 off of this low here. Uh, what did I do? Hit the wrong button. Let me see. It's probably, yeah, it's right here. Hold on. There it is. There's that one we were just looking there at 2065. Uh, okay, so that's where it is. There's a 786. A lot of things say that this could be it, and a lot of things say that it couldn't. So, anyway, let's move on 
to uh, take a look at something else that we want to you know, have to look at two stocks for everybody. One is Tesla because it's rocking and rolling. And um, even with the news bad on it, it's still going up. I heard it was up another four or five percent. We had several people ask about it this morning. So here's Tesla. I believe we had a target up here. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There's the target. We were looking at 224 and we got to 227. Let's see what that number was. That was uh, that's exact 707 off of the high, folks. So that's a that's a pretty big. Uh, oh, oh, no, that's 707 off of this. Let's see what this is off of the high from the high back here that we made in July. Wow. A year away. There, that that's in between the 50% and 61. We gapped up big time today, though, folks. We gapped up 210. And of course, when you have a gap, you have to increase your ABCD leg. So uh, that's going to be an interesting one to look at. The last high we had back here was at this level, and that comes in. Uh, we gapped above the 618 on that. So not only that, so it's acting pretty good. That's probably why the Nasdaq is is doing uh, so splendidly. So now we'll take a look here. At Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, and we'll get up here. Someday when you guys get a little bit older, I'll tell you the story about Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, who loosed, used to, oh, see, look at this. We're almost at our target, folks. I think we've made another new high. No, not yet. The high here was at 2020.2, 20, 2020.2. 20, 20 the high today is 2020.34. 20, it did make a higher high. Um, wow, that's a pretty good 2020. Uh, yeah, 20, 2024, 20 is a new high just over here. Well, you can't see it because the, the mouse moves around, but it did make a new high. You can see it right there. We made a new high right from that level. Let's look at this on the hourly chart and we'll get this up here. There's a little ABCD jumping at us at that point. I wanted to bring that. There's your ABC coming in. If you like ABCD, then that's what we'll look at. There's your AB. There's your CD, and there it is, making a new high. You can see it's taken it out by just a little bit, and that's what we're watching here in uh, Apple. So that's it. And one other one was Archer Daniels Midland, and that one is right here. That one is still should be under some pressure, but by gosh, it's holding up in the middle of all this pressure. This is a big, there was your ABCD here. Look at this. This is still moving strongly higher, so there's still pretty good. Hey, when we were buying it down here, folks, nobody wanted it, you know, so there's where we were buying it right there. And look what it did. You know, there was your 382. It stayed there for, well, quite a while. It still hasn't taken it out yet, but this is still starting to look a little bit better. This is when the bad news came out. All right. That's the problem with news, folks. It doesn't always match what the charts are saying, but when it does, you got to pay close attention to it. Okay. Get this out of the way here and get this out of the way. And um, this is acting pretty good also. And uh, uh oh, we're getting real close here. Uh, we hit, we just made a new high now in the, uh, let's get this up. Was that an eight minute? What did I have up there? No, there it is, eight. I, I thought it was 13 minutes. I usually do 13 minute, but I, I think what I did was I, uh, oh, I know what I did. I erased everything because we were looking at these numbers. Let's just look at it again because this was our low right here. This was take us to our to the promised land up here at 2002. There it is, right? Yeah, that says 04, but it's got to be 02 because I've done it three times. I know the number is, well, it says 04. My stop is here at 05, but I believe this is exactly 02, 2202. It's only off by two points, which is 50 bucks, but that's it right now. I sold it right here at 75. That was the 1.618 expansion. And that's what I was doing, and I'd do that all day long if I if I could. And sometimes I can't, some sometimes I can, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, now let's move on to what else we had. Oh, we got a break. Oh, it's final breaks coming up here. Oh, we got one minute left. Uh, someone asked a question about natural gas. I haven't looked at it in a long time, but I'm going to do it right now. NG is uh, right there. There's natural gas. We'll put it in with the July and we'll bring it up here. There we go. There's the daily in the July. We're going to have a nice little buy uh, point here pretty soon here. I don't know if this is uh, even trading now. Let me put the uh, put the, the continuation up and we'll see. I think this is off the board actually. So let me look. Yeah, we'll be 
right back. Stay with us, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we got a little uh, bird's eye view here. Uh, this is the AI program that uh, look at the neural network. Uh, anyway, we'll draw the ABCD in here, and you'll see this is what we're looking at right there. There's that number right there. It is at 04. My, my stop's right up. Oh, yeah, my stop's at 05. So that's it. And I should start to roll over sometime between now and the top of the hour, another 10 minutes or so. And then if it keeps going after this, I will lose on the trade. I'm losing right now 20 points. So could get to 30 real quick because we're not very far away. Anyway, sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. That's all you can do. All right, let's make sure that you do two things. We got a holiday and make sure that you try to wreck. Oh, there we go. We just hit the 204. I haven't heard the beeper go off yet, but it will soon. <laughs> all right, we just hit the number. That was the number, 2000 and uh, what, how high did we get? We got 05, I guess. Yeah, 05 was a high. So. We're going to see if that's going to stop it or not. Anyway, that's what uh, this doesn't like, look like it's going to work, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, but uh, have the stop in. should start to come down here, but sometimes if it doesn't, there's really not much else you can do here. So 
Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. The silver was a big one today. We did good. Let's see how silver's doing. See if it's kind of still down there at that same area, down around 65. It's still way down here in the lower end of the range here. Uh, today, as you can see, it's had a pretty big break to the downside and uh, feeling pretty good when you sell it up in here and it's down here. But NASDAQ, not so much. That's the way it goes. Okay. All right, uh, pay attention to us, folks, because we are going. We are definitely out of it now. I did. I did. We see the, the number has just been hit, and I did lose the uh, 600 bucks on that Nasdaq trade. So that one's out of the woods. So that's where we're watching, folks. So uh, remember, the day before the holiday is usually an up day, and with the daylight today, with just two hours to go, it looks like she's on its way. So stand aside and be prime. See you tomorrow, folks. May God bless. Thank you.